today. Tyler and I are out. Um, we're gonna drive into Willow. That's had some friends asking to uh, see the little town that we live close to, and uh, so we're gonna go back and do a drive through that. So we thought we'd just kind of show you. You know, this is down the road. Yeah, you know, we live on, and um, snow covered is kind of pretty. So you know, we just start here. Show you where we live at. It's kind of different right now with the uh, not having a lot of snow. So by the uh, by the end of the winter, you know this will be like five feet high on each side of the road. Definitely enough that moose don't like uh, getting off the road for you. Forest looks pretty bare here. You know, this is where they had a fire at several years ago. So, the forest is still recovering. It's good, by the way. The road's a little rough right now with the, some of the ice pack on it. If we get some more ice on it, it'll, uh, it'll actually get smoother. But, uh, the first snow or two, they don't actually plow it if it's not real deep. That way they can get a hard pack on top of the gravel. So that way the snow plows don't push any of the gravel off the road. So once you get snow up here, pretty much everything has an ice pack on it until springtime. So the only thing you don't is uh, parts of the highway. <laughs> Some of the highway seems like it always has a snow pack on it. Partly because it snows so regular, you know, once it does start snowing. We're actually seeing a few little flurries today. Nothing, nothing big, but it's supposed to get heavier this evening. But I don't know how much we'll get. I think they were calling for a couple inches in Anchorage, but so we might get more. We might not get any. It's hard to say. As we're driving along, it'd be kind of cool if we could see some uh, dog teams out working today. side of the road here through the woods here it's, you just catch glimpses of as you're driving down through here um, that's a trail that the uh, sled dogs run quite a little bit and the sides of the roads out here have uh, have trails on both sides of the highways all over um, so you'd actually ride on the shoulder of the road snow machine or whatever all the way to uh, you probably go all the way to Anchorage I would imagine you can see the trails down through there another, another trail up here and they do run um, trail groomers over these pretty regular to uh, smooth them out so Koshwitna Lake, the trout lake. This is just a few miles from us. So we'll be out there ice fishing and um, and riding our snow machines across this thing. So it's uh, 
probably should have showed some more pictures of it in the summertime. This also from here when it's not cloudy, you also have a really good view of uh, Mount Denali from here. So a lot of um, a lot of travelers stop here and uh, take pictures of Mount Denali. So anyway, just a pretty pretty stop off, and it's a pretty fun place to. Uh, with our snow machines and we actually take trails from our house and you know, get all the way to there but so this is all pretty swampy around the lake here where you see all these little trees that's all uh, I wouldn't call it a swamp but it's more like a bog can't ride an ATV through it that's for sure but during the winter time you can run a snow machine over it so snow machines are really popular here because that's a uh, really a major, major mode of transportation. So right up here too, we have a, uh, it's a little bit further yet, we have a, have a racetrack that's up here called Capital Speedway. And uh, I think it's, it's probably a quarter mile dirt track. I think it's a quarter mile. But anyway, it's, um, same people that started it still run it and, uh, and it's been a racetrack that's been open every season for 50 years so that's kind of neat so they have a little uh, little bitty motel there and they have a little little restaurant up in there kind of kind of neat not a lot of dirt tracks as we do for 50 years Willow, Little Willow Creek here. We come down through here on our snow machines alongside the road. You can go down under the bridge. You can see on the side of the road there where they got another bridge for the uh, dog sleds, ATVs, and stuff like that. Where you don't have to actually get out on the highway. But you can see a pretty continuous trail all alongside the road. These are actually alongside all of the roads here in Alaska, so. Center. They sell all kinds of dog supplies. Lots of small businesses out here. You know, you don't really have any big ones to you get into uh, a cellar. Everything out here is small places. So. Another Here's another dog team running down the side of the road. Sleds out yet, as you can see on the sides of there, you can still see through the path quite a bit. So they don't want to get their uh, sleds out on there and scratch up the runners on them because of the uh, snow is not deep enough. So probably one more snow, and then everybody will be out on their snow machines, and then the dogs will be pulling sleds and all that. So now coming up here on the right, this is uh, this is Big Willow Creek. 
but there's a campground right here. There's actually a couple of them. Um, the first one here, they run a snow cap business, and, um, and they run freight. I have no idea how far, but they, uh, they groom a lot of the trails around here, and they have these snow cats that you can see. I mean, they have a lot of them, so they, uh, no telling where them things wind up, but as the snow gets deeper, they all disappear from here. So, creek's all froze over. There's another little place here called Pioneer Lodge. It's a little campground and have a little pub and restaurant there. And right up here on the left is the uh, Lead Dog Coffee Shop. That's also where you turn to go to Hatcher Pass. So, there's little coffee and espresso shops all over the place in Alaska. They're everywhere. So, and over here on the left is the uh, is the little airport. These are all little single engine single engine airplanes. Sometimes driving down the highway here, you got to stop and let them cross the road. So that's what all the fence is over here is for the try to keep the moose and stuff out of the uh, airport. So but then on the right down here as well is. Uh, Willow Lake, lots of lakes out here, <coughs> and uh, and that's where the uh, planes land on the water. Um, so I actually call it a float plane dock, Willow Airport. So that's kind of kind of neat to see these things landing on the water. They land on the water quite a bit back there in Koshwet. I tell you, I don't know what for. I think they actually give rides and stuff like that. A lot of people do. Froze, the lake froze over now, so I don't know if it actually has enough uh, ice on it for them to land on yet or not. A lot of the planes are starting to put their skis on. There's another little uh, fire department. Back there is the community center and library. And right up here we have the, uh, we're actually getting in Willow right now. Um, there's the uh, elementary school. And um, they never cancel here for weather, so. Here to the side where you see this big roof at, that's actually an ice skating ring. So kids have their own ice skating ring. And actually people can come up here and use that at night if they want, it's got lights and stuff on it. But anyway, that's the elementary school. Anything above elementary has to go to uh, Osella, or Par no, Houston, Houston, Houston I believe. Creek. Yeah, or so Duncan. several miles away, so. So here we have um, a little station uh, convenience store here um, and this is called town site so this is a gas station convenience store also in this building they have a little snack bar they have um, a video store so you can rent um, DVDs and stuff like that and then on down here on the end is uh, town site liquor see our gas prices here 364 Diesel 349, so liquor store in there, and then back here behind you can see the uh, post office for a little bitty town. It has a pretty good sized post office because lots of uh, lots of packages shipped in here. I would say so people all the time picking up packages at the post office. So this next building over here we'll drive by. This here is kind of like the uh, <laughs> This is this is a megaplex here in uh, Willow. <laughs> this place has um, has a doctor's office. It has a tattoo shop. It has a dental office. Uh, has a deli. Has a bank or a credit union. So this right here, people. This is a one-stop shop right here. You can eat. Go to the doctor. Get your teeth pulled, 
go to the bank, get you a tattoo, have you a sandwich. Oh, well, you're right here. That's kind of neat. Next thing we'll see here, see another coffee shop up here on the right. far to, to uh, Willow and this little place has a little bit of everything. They kind of bail us out of all kinds of messes we get into when we need little fittings and things like that. So I already asked him if I could just take a quick walk through here. They told me I could so I'm going to do that little quick walk through here. So, so anyway this is kind of a neat little place. They have just a little bit of everything. So we love coming up here. Let's see if I can get this spread out a little bit more. There we go. So, all kinds of hardware stuff, anything you can think of, they pretty much have it here. Stove pipe, electrical stuff, all kinds of electrical stuff here, all kinds of hardware items up through here. They got paint, they got axe handles, they got nails, the old fashioned kind in the big rotor bins. All kinds of little stuff here. Got some tools, all kinds of saw blades, things like that, straps. And we've got all kinds of plumbing stuff, Toyo heaters, all kinds of stuff. It's a really a cool place. Hey, I bought this here the other day. It's the, it's the wrong one. Can I return that? Yeah. Did you pay cash for it? Yeah, I did. I didn't. I see probably laying in the floorboard there somewhere. But I want to get another one though. So I can hold. They got hydraulic fluid, animal feed, they got some lumber. They have a little bit of everything. You can see how dirty my truck stays. So we come to this little store all the time for something. They have a pretty good assortment of nuts and bolts and screws and so on and so forth. So lumber, pipe. Lumber, pipe. Yeah, they got they have a little bit of everything. You can just see up through here the lumber and stuff like that. So you can buy two by fours here, plywood, all different kinds of stuff. They also work on Toyo heaters, which is a little um, diesel or fuel oil type little heaters that are extremely popular here in Alaska. So you see a little plane over there gonna be coming in for a landing. You got on these big old fat tires for landing on the tundra tires or something like that. that's what they call them. For landing out in the bush. Road's got a few little slick spots on it yet. Yeah. Little stretch in there. Yeah. So the next place here is Newman's, and this is where we've done the video I did the other day where we met Myra and Peggy. And um, this is a this is a neat little store. This is where we buy all of our gas and get our water and things like that. So let's um people have this place the newmans you know they actually have the rock quarry and they do excavating work and and uh, all kinds of stuff uh, so that's kind of neat this is where we get water at and uh, things like that so matter of fact over here we're actually going to get a little bit of water so we actually got some earlier but didn't get as much as uh we thought we did. We got a new tank that we're using, and, and uh, so we knew we didn't need a full tank. But we're trying to get used to uh, how full we do need to fill it for wherever we do need water. So, 
we ain't got that all dialed in just yet. So, anyway, I'm gonna go in and give you a quick look around in there too. Show you the uh, icicle back here, water at. So. No sleep. So, we got a we got us a water tank in here, and we got some jugs. So right now we're just gonna fill the jugs up. But we'll be back out here in just a second. So, I'll uh, run in here and kind of show you the inside of the our store. It's kind of cool. So I've got a little. Little, little deli here. You get some drinks and things like that. Chips, just kind of general convenience store. Items, necessities, oil, batteries, soda pop. This here's a lot of stuff that locals make. A lot of uh, carved stuff, a lot of uh, stuff that people make, salsa and stuff like that. It's, pretty much what this area right here is so anyway I'm gonna show you that so the different businesses operated out of here would be uh, you know the the quarry uh, hauling gravel uh, excavation equipment and stuff like that that's another business and um, valley fuel um, they run several fuel trucks where they deliver fuel for tanks like this and as well as the airport and things like that. So anyway, got to get off here and help Tyler fill up some water jugs. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would. And that was a grand tour of Willow, Alaska.